10 forgotten VHS error villain actors who are amazing. We remember the best movies for the performances of the heroes, their moral high ground, muscle-wielding battles, and their role as the righteous impress us. But what's a good hero without the perfect villain? The role of the baddies is equally as important, if not more. The 80s and 90s have been kind when it comes to bestowing upon us with the greatest actors who played the roles of bad guys to perfection. These roles would make you loathe them, fear them, and yet, somewhere, you would admire them. These prominent personalities have charmed the screen multiple times with their villainous roles. Some of these actors also got typecast as villains, so much so that most of their roles have either been villains or their sidekicks. These preliminary baddies have helped carry forward the rich legacy of bad being cool. And yet, many of them have been forgotten in the tides of time. The video will serve as a memoir for those maestros who have played an important role in shaping our childhood memories. So, cheers to some nostalgia, folks. Hello there, everybody. Before we get into our list, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel and clicking the little bell icon up in the corner to get notifications. This is a small click for you, but means a lot to us. Thank you, and let's begin. Robert Zadar you know a villain is good when he can thrash the hulking Sylvester Stallone. Robert Zadar has been a powerful presence in the world of cinema as he delivered some mean performances during his career. He had a great physique and stood tall at 6 foot 2 inches, which ensured that he played the bad guy who had to be taken seriously. Robert had an enormous jawline due to a disorder called cherubism that causes excessive bone growth in the lower face. This added to his threatening appearance that struck fear in the hearts of his fans. He started off as a rock band member before he took to acting. His menacing screen presence was highlighted by some terrific movies. The most famous among them being Maniac Cop, where he played the role of an undead police officer. In the role of a mean criminal in Tango and Cash, he beat up Sylvester Stallone, and his many other villainous roles included movies like The Night Stalker, Hellhole, The Divine Enforcer, Soul Taker, and The Rockville Slayer. On the 30th of March in the year 2015, this talented actor breathed his last breath. We shall never see his likes again. <laughs> Billy Drago. His real name was William Eugene Barrows. And he was particularly known for his intimidating appearance. Billy Drago worked briefly as a radio host before opting for an acting career. Towards the end of the 70s, he stepped into the world of cinema and made quite a statement with his performances. He worked in movies like Vamp, Wind Walker, Hunter's Blood, Dark Before Dawn, and many others. His acting in The Untouchables as a deadly assassin in a white suit is as good as it gets. He also did a considerable amount of work on TV, and the most well-known work was in Charmed. His other movies included the likes of China White, Cyborg 2, Martial Law 2, The Hills Have Eyes, and Texas Ranger. His signature style of making the bad guys look extra scary is unforgettable. When he died on the 30th of November in 2019, he left a void that is hard to fill. We will remember him for times to come courtesy of his immortal work. Al Leong. This Asian American actor sent hearts racing when he appeared as the villain in a movie. The fact that he was also a stuntman meant that his performances and action scenes were remarkable. Al Leong was skilled in martial arts, and together with his lean muscular frame, he made for quite a sight. Remember the guy torturing Mel Gibson in the movie Lethal Weapon? That was him at his meanest best. He is also featured in other notable movies such as Die Hard, and Big Trouble in Little China. His performance as a short Genghis Khan in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure was the talk of the industry and earned him several accolades. He also starred in Rapid Fire, 
where his stunts were simply stunning. Leong was considered for the role of Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat, although he was not cast. He tried his hand at direction as well when he directed the movie Daddy Tell Me a Story. Oh, you pig! On your eyes, pig! Brian Thompson. They say the true success of a villain is when his character is hated the most. Brian Thompson has tasted such success in many movies, owing to his brilliant acting. He started off with a role in The Terminator, and went on to have a long, illustrious career. He learned from the best, like Edward Albee and Robert Cohen during his stint with the University of California. He played the role of the brutalized baddie in Cobra, which starred Sylvester Stallone in the lead. Besides his negative roles, he also played the hero in a movie like Jason and the Argonauts and Conan the Librarian. But of course, his menacing six foot three inch frame was best suited for the role of the bad guys. He successfully essayed critical roles in movies like Birds of Prey, Werewolf, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and even starred in the TV series Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. His role in the movie Key West points to his acting skills, and as of now, this skilled veteran of the numerous films lives in Washington with his family. Bolo Young, the prominent actor of Chinese descent, is best known for his involvement with the martial arts movies. Bolo Young started training from a very early age, and soon he earned the tag of Chinese Hercules due to his lean, muscular frame. He made his debut alongside the legendary Bruce Lee in the movie Enter the Dragon, and it was clear that Bolo Young was a horse for the long course. Bolo Young starred in action-packed movies like Double Impact and Bloodsport, both of which had Van Damme in the lead. Shoot Fighter 2, Tiger Claws 2, Ironheart, and several other action movies made Bolo Young a household name. The Beast from the East, as he was fondly referred to, was one bad guy that even your favorite heroes would hesitate to take on. He invested his time away from movies and physical training and martial arts, two things very close to his heart. Vernon Wells. Vernon Wells is an actor who started off with a lot of struggle working in a quarry and as a salesman. However, Destiny had other plans for this Australian actor as casting agents spotted him and he starred in some TV shows. Australian TV hits like Matlock Police and Homicide saw him make a grand entry into the world of acting. You probably know him from his appearance in Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. His role as a gang leader and murderous biker struck fear in the hearts of the audience. As his exploits made it to Hollywood, he was also part of the movie Commando, where he takes on Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like in the movie Mad Max, his character in Commando eventually meets a morbid death. Then there starts a flurry of movies that cast him as the conventional dreaded bad guy. He was involved with movies like Circuitry Man, Last Man Standing, Kick of Death, Star Force, and many other B-grade thrillers. The Power Rangers TV series made him all the more popular as he played the role of Rancic, a dangerous criminal. Get back into the truck, GR-13. The mission is canceled. Edo Ross. Born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, this talented actor studied acting from some of the best in the business, like Yuta Hagen and Stellar Adler. The results showed when he was cast in movies like Dear Mr. Wonderful. Ed Ross was a boxing champion, and his skills have been exploited by many movies. His bulky, intimidating screen presence ensures that most of the roles are as bad guys, or cops, or army men. For instance, the movie Red Heat saw him perfectly play the role as a Russian drug dealer. He made an impact with his stunning performance in Full Metal Jacket, a critically acclaimed war movie by Stanley Kubrick. As the scary mobster in the Vern Miller story, he was phenomenal. He also worked in movies like Universal Soldier and Lethal Weapon. Ross worked for TV shows like Boston Legal, 
NYPD Blue, and Moonlighting. Some of his best performances on stage include Shakespeare's adaptation of King Lear. Overall, this veteran actor had both the skills and the physique to be a powerful on-screen presence that was highly sought after. I'll cut your bloody throat. You ain't your thing at the O and tie the lovely winds of night for you, eh? I don't want to tie, that's him. Right, boy. Brian James. Brian James probably had a knack for movies because his parents operated a movie theater. He majored in theater arts and took to acting on the big screen. He even served in the army before he became an actor. His successful career spanned over 120 movies and 100 television roles, and that speaks volumes about his demand. His most acclaimed role was possibly in the movie Blade Runner, where he essayed the character of Leon. Brian James went on to star in several other crucial roles that were loved by his fans. Some of these amazing performances can be seen in The Fifth Element, The Horror Show, Cabin Boy, The Player, Tango and Cash, Enemy Mine, Silverado, and numerous others. He was a favorite for director Albert Pine, who cast him in four of his movies. His untimely death in 1999 deprived us of many more out-of-this-world performances. When he passed away at the age of 54, he took from us one of the most prolific villains in the film industry. His works, however, stand testimony to his immortal talent. Do not play with forces you don't understand or you will suffer the consequences. Andrew Devoff. You need the perfect Russian villain to complete a Hollywood classic action movie? And who better to essay the role than Andrew Devoff? This actor of Russian descent won hearts with his performance in iconic roles like Air Force One and CSI Miami. Besides his impeccable acting prowess, Devoff has great multilingual skills and can speak as many as eight languages. In both movies and television, Andrew Devoff was the perfect man to ace the negative roles. He worked in movies like The Hunt for Red October, A Low Down Dirty Shame, Toy Soldiers, and the Dead Matter. For his television audience, his roles in Highlander, Lost, and The A-Team deserve special mention. He is not only a terrific actor, but also a concerned environmentalist. He has his own organization called Verdant Resource that works to locate and preserve the world's resources. He currently basks in the glory of his illustrious career in his Los Angeles residence. Aren't we thankful for such colorful villains? Waited a long time for this. James Tolkien. James Tolkien was the sophisticated baddie, one who can intimidate but also draw some admiration. Born in 1931, this talented actor played the tough guy better than most others. He served in the Navy and then found work in many movies that cast him as either a tough cop battle-hardened soldier, or a mean criminal. From the late 60s, he started flourishing and soon, he had made a name for himself in the industry. His notable works include movies like Serpico, Prince of the City, War Games, Love and Death, and a few others. Having worked with directors of the stature of Woody Allen, his acting skills were horned further. He was perfectly cast in movies like Dick Tracy, Masters of the Universe, and Top Gun. Movies that explored his talents to the fullest. James Tolkien also took the television by storm when he starred in the popular series like A Neo-Wolf Mystery, Cobra, Mary, Miami Vice, only to name a few. This veteran actor has contributed immensely to the film industry with his years of service and some incredible performances. This is all the time we had for today's episode. We hope you guys liked it. So it would be awesome if you guys could take some time to subscribe to our channel. Also, push that bell icon so you get notifications whenever we post a new video. And don't forget to tell us which topics you want us to cover in the comments section. And stay safe.